yep, back out. Day two of two, and we've come to the Valley of Death. Probably. Just don't think these trees normally cherry trees here, but none of these are. Anyway, we're not going up. We're not going up high today, and I'll tell you why. Because all week at work, I've had like a sore knee. My left knee's been really painful. So what I've done is strapped up, strapped up. It's doing the trick, like to keep them on all week. It should be all right by the end of next week. But I don't want to put any pressure on going up a hill, especially with a heavy backpack. So we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna do a. A little walk into a valley, company before. Um, get set up. Probably have a little kip like naked. And that's about it really. I don't think it's gonna be a long video of this because there's not really a great deal to see. There's no high hills with views. So just a short one. Let's go in the water. Planning on going in the water, but I haven't got a towel. So I'll have to work that out. Let's see, anyway, we're gonna crack on. It's a couple of miles along this valley, it's still a long walk. Look at that, what's that? Butterfly, a moth, I think it's deed. Mr. Stoker has gone, it's bottled it. I've been left with him. <laughs> I told you to show us the waters, man, so I can breathe in. Aye. How are you, man? It's too late for that. <laughs> Got any proper breathing in, Nah, breathe in, you'd be just like, there's any point. We've put loads of weight on. But, you know, just, uh, we'll get rid of it. Drinking too much beer, you too much uh, Drinking too much beer, that's the problem. Got a few more beers tonight. Might not get through them all, but I'll try. Here's one for the foragers. This is uh, this here. That's a cob nut. So when the when they're big, bigger than that, you pick them off the tree. They come in bunches like, and they're like hazelnuts. You just crack them open like hazelnuts. Cob nuts. There's loads of them along here. Just thought I'd throw that in there. We've walked for miles. What's that? Three miles, Mike? Yeah. It's two point six or seven four miles. Just under three miles. Just under three miles to this valley. We've been here before, like. But uh. Put the picnickers along here, so uh, we're just gonna give them some peace supplies. There's people having a picnic over there, so we're gonna wait till they go. It doesn't look like they're gonna be camping, but we're gonna just mill about here. Could be worse places to mill about. Get my socks and shoes off. Have a little dip. This is the Valley of Terror. We're in like. Ah, nice. Get the old feet in. The old trotters in. Sitting there with your trotters up. Absolutely freezing. Ice cold that water. Yeah. <laughs> Midges are horrendous. We might end up having to uh, bail out of this way. Need a breeze and there's no breeze. And maybe. Oh, so we've just come from around there. And the people have gone, they've had the picnic. I hope they don't think we were trying to move them on, like we were quite prepared to wait all day. Not worried, like. People are big enough for everybody this place. Whoa, no. No, it's ours now, though. We've got it. Been here before, like. Familiar. 
I'm going in there, but I haven't brought a towel. All my shorts. Should have brought my shorts and towel. I didn't realise we were coming here to be fair. Like, I would have been in. I'm kind of pitch here. So there it is, up there. And I'll be down there. Same old, same old location as before. Midge is coming and going, as a little breeze comes every so often. Do, do with the little breeze. It's helpful. Alright, but uh, get set up and sort ourselves out. Slow. So tonight's stash. Shindig summer, that's lovely that. Refreshing. New world. Further double IPA looper, full circle. That's a nice one. Come in number 51, your time's up. Double IPA, 9%. Neil gets things done, which is 6.3. And then it's triple IPA. Such great heights, 10%. Woo. And Arctic field ration. Beef and potato stew. And it's got um, some other bits and bobs in. I don't really know. That's one of them real termat meals. But for now, I'm just going to have that. It's got the water boiling there. It's actually ready, that water. Even. Comfortable? Oh, <laughs> this is me, this is me little happy place this thing. <laughs> happy volley I call this. Right, uh, apart from the midges. Right, we should. We didn't think we would do it. Yeah. We locked down for that long, for all the people. There's the new addition to the family. First time out. Usual mess inside. Clips is different, man. I got all the different clips. We are absolutely getting eaten alive by midges. I mean, we thought it would be breezy. That's why we came here. But there's absolutely no breeze whatsoever. It's just dead calm, dead still. Therefore, they're all in. They're all getting in the tent and we have decided to pack up and shoot off. We're gonna just get away from here. Like I think that's a weekend trip. I think that's the camping done. I haven't even touched the beer. So that's it, abandoned camp because of the midges. God, the horrible, the horrible things. What's the point of them? No wind when you want it. When you want it to be windy, it's not. It's like this. Crazy. Anyway, gotta pack up. Eating alive. <laughs> We're back at the car. Couldn't handle it like it's just absolutely horrendous. What was it? I'll see not like it. I when I'm set up like that and I'm ready for me beer on night time, it's gotta be bad to put me off like. Uh, yeah. That's it, we're all ready just to start on the beer and uh we couldn't leave the tent. These legs run. I've been absolutely nailed. <laughs> Still on his now. Get off, man. So, just gonna go home and uh, I don't know, I might edit the video from yesterday. At least we've got one camp in. We've got one and a half camps. <laughs> we were thinking about going up there. Well, it might be any wind up there. But there might be no wind up there. It's just not a breath of wind like. There could be some wind up there. We could get our tents up. Uh, we've gone away. Or it could be just absolutely midgy hell. 
was plus forecast we, for, it was forecast for quite a breezy weekend we saw two people with backpacks and tents scan that way before so they might be up there no? Maybe up there yeah just right off so you're shaming it i defy anybody to put up with all that like them midges just awful right that's it see you on the next one